deserve the recognition that they have had during the time that they were recording because they were good musicians. Reggie, for one, would never sit in a recording studio without tuning his guitar for about half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> he would make sure that all the tune was right and he would play beautifully. And we use them as backing musicians as well for top artists like Rita Chow, Sakura Teng, Anita Sarawak, Katina Dahari, and so many others. It's through these backing uh, 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 opportunities that they had to me in the studio that they, they increased in the quality of music and they were recognized all over because when they played uh, Sakura Ten's song, it would be backed by the press. And when they played Anita Slavak's song, it will also be written there, backed by the press. So the press were coming up with other artists as well. And that was a very clever promotion which we did at that time because uh, they had to have this kind of recognition. And they, what was most wonderful is they were desired all over Malaysia and even far out as Hong Kong for their music and the caliber and, and Vernon joined the group as a vocalist as well. And they could project themselves as a top Southeast Asian group, which I was very proud of. Very, very proud of. They were recognized by our head office at EMI in London. They could not get their record released in London, unfortunately not, but they made a good, a very good round in Southeast Asia, which was good enough at that time. And every group was looking up to the press, and in fact, I used to get tapes from all over Southeast Asia, audition tapes, and they said, oh, we want to be the quest, we want to 